Yeah, hold on just a second. Give me like maybe five more seconds before the clear. There we go. Alright, I'm good. Oh, you guys came. Okay. Alright, no worries. Yeah, I'll go get it off. Uh, they're going to come right back from the checkpoint probably to try to hit us. So, You guys stick there and I will get this here manhunt off. Do it again. Alright. There we go. Quarter. Keep going. Yeah, I hear the bullets halfway. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Three quarters. Couple more seconds. Alright, coming back. Um, hopefully they pop rogue this time. I hope we don't have to pop it every time, but it doesn't really matter. Oop, and they popped it. Nice. There's two on the left. I'll focus one, you focus the other. Hive down. Alright, got mine. Yep, and you got yours. Nice. What about the other two? Down. Nice. Good job, guys. Good job. Alright, where's that runner? Yep, there he is. Oh, he's trying to go to the checkpoint. Yeah, I'm right behind you, man. Oh, you got him. Beam him. Nice. Nice. And there it is. Here, I'll show you guys the tank build and normalized real quick. There you go. And let's go to the build video. What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 build video. Now, this Division 2 build video is going to be my berserk tank build. Now, I'm going to make this a little bit shorter because I did give you guys a little bit of gameplay in the beginning. But basically, this thing shreds, and I love it. I play this in the Dark Zone mainly uh, just because it's a lot of fun. Normalized, ODZ, doesn't matter. This build is a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. Gear score 500, and here it is. I'll let you guys look at those numbers for a second while I give you a quick overview. So this is a 7, 10, 1 build, uh, 7 in the red, 10 in the blue, and 1 in the yellow. Uh, with that combination, I have been able to squeeze out 395k armor, just under 80k health, and just above 200 electronics. I am using this for an AR build. And this is my PvP galore build. I, I, I love it. Um, my main philosophy with this build was how high up could I get my defense and armor without losing Berserk because Berserk with an AR is a lot of fun, especially the AK, P416, Eagle Bear, whatever it is you have, it is a lot of fun. So with those numbers, we'll go ahead and talk about the weapons. Now. The weapons I am using right now is the Eagle Bear, the AUG A3, and a double barrel sawed off shotgun. So starting off with the Eagle Bear, I am well aware that a lot of you do not have the Eagle Bear, nor have you guys been able to do the raid and acquire it. So with that being said, here is the numbers for the Eagle Bear, 33.2k. Now scroll down here, look at the military AK is at 32.9. So my military AK would be the closest comparison I would give you guys to try to get the same numbers. So if you don't have the Eagle Bear, try for the military AK or maybe the P416. Now the P416 with this build is probably around 23k base. But uh, obviously you get the rate of fire that goes with it. So my recommendation, if you don't have the Eagle Bear, go for a high weapon damaged AK. Because this build is, I mean, it you don't want to face tank, but you can if you need to. Now, going off of that, let's go back to this Eagle Bear. Eagle Bear is at gear score 500. Right now I have 33.2k base damage. 750 RPMs and a 60 round magazine. 
Um, for those of you that are new to the Eagle Bear, let's go ahead and go through the talents. So you have Eagle's Strike, accuracy is increased while you fire, and if you fire continuously, it goes up to 100%. Headshot kills, grant, reload speed, damage, and a tenacity buff. And the tenacity buff basically is 20 to 80% of your damage taken is delayed until the buff expires. And if you want to use this as a holstered, it has protected fire, which while holstered, you gain 10% bonus armor while firing. Going into the secondary, I'm using the AUG, which uh, is the assault rifle AUG, A3 CQC. Base damage 24.4k, RPM 748, and magazine at 30. Ranger Allegro Overlap. Uh, main reason why I am using this weapon is for the overlap. Uh, while holstered, your equipped weapon gains handling bonus based on the weapon type. Weapon type is AR, and you get stability. So, yeah, your Eagle Bearer is going to be even more stable because you have overlap on. I don't really use the AUG, but I use that overlap for my Eagle Bearer. You can do the same thing with your AK or your P416. But I would highly recommend if you're using the AK or P416, go ahead and put in a Chatterbox, Merciless, or a Nemesis as your secondary. Get those talents. Finally, Sidearm. Double Barrel Sawed Off hitting for 200k. Um, yeah, it's hitting for 200k base with Ranger and Distance. So it doesn't really matter if I'm in your face or, you know, a few feet away. I'm still going to get you pretty good with that. It also has in rhythm. Those are the weapons. Pretty nice indeed. Now, I know that the numbers right here, the 33.2K, that is with Berserk Active, ladies and gentlemen. So these numbers right here don't go all cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. This is with Berserk Active. So just, yeah. And I think with Berserk uh Inactive, it drops down to 25 or 26. So, going over the gear. Uh, brand sets, I have two Overlord, which give me the total armor that you're looking for. The Gilligard, I'm using one of those for the total armor as well. Fenris, I'm using that for the assault rifle damage. Murakami, uh, you personally could switch this out but I'm using it for the hazard protection and the health. And my 511 protection from elites, again, you could switch this one out, but it's working good with the combination I have running. So let's go ahead and get into this. Starting off with the mask, Murakami, gear score 500. It is recalibrated 96 out of 100. And the attributes, hazard protection and health. The hazard protection, like it shows right there, is at 96, so it's just under cap, so I could probably squeeze out another percent or so. And the talent is insulated, giving me another 10% hazard protection. So overall, this build is not only a tank, it not only does damage, but it can, you know, it can sustain all, tor uh, all types of damage. Here is the 511 backpack, 500 gear score. Recalibrated up to 56 out of 100. Uh, attributes, crit hit chance, 2%. Armor, 10,740. And weapon damage at 9%. Obviously, if you have a better backpack, by all means, put it on. If my, if my RNG was a little bit better, I could squeeze out 400k armor on this build. But I am stuck with that low 10,000 roll on the backpack. The talent that it comes with, Vital and Hardened, giving me 20% health and 10% more armor. Now this one comes with one mod slot, uh, Offensive Systems mod slot. Currently I'm using a Generic System mod, giving me another 4%. Go down to the chest piece, uh, Overlord, uh, gear score 499. Recalibrated 96 out of 100, so right under max. Attributes, total armor, 17%. Armor, 
41,125. So I do have 4%. I could up that up a little bit. And then crit damage. Uh, only recommended. Uh, only recommendation I have for you guys. Uh, look for this. The two blues and the red. And just hope that RNG gives you weapon damage. Because I really don't need that crit damage. If it gave me weapon damage of any sort, I would have been a lot happier. And then also the talent berserk, which this whole build was made around. Uh, the less armor I have, the more damage I do. Now this has two mod slots. The first one being a offensive system mod slot. I am using a firearms mod with 1.5 weapon damage and 5 assault rifle damage. The next slot is a defensive slot. I have a mending mod giving me 4790 armor and 3% total armor. Go down to the gloves. Overlord again because you have to have two overlord to get that seven and a half total armor on top from the brand set. This one is a gear score 500. It is recalibrated 87 out of 100. So it has a little bit more room to go. Attributes, assault rifle damage at 10% and health at 5103. Also has the talent devastating giving me 5% weapon damage. Go down to the knee pads. I am running Gilligard. Gear score 500, recalibrated 56 out of 100. So again, if I can find some higher armor on knee pads, I can also get this to over 400k armor as well. Now the attribute obviously is armor at 16,396. Um, I am well aware that it goes way above that. So as soon as I get some, I will show you guys. Now this comes with the talent patience. After being in cover for five seconds, your armor repairs by 5% per second. And then also Gilligard knee pads give you two mod slots, both defensive. I've, ch I've chose a resilience for 9257 health. And then I chose a mending giving me 2458 armor and also another 5% total armor and finally go down to the holster Fenris holster gear score 500 re-rolled 86 out of 100 in the recalibration attributes skill power at 219 and crit hit chance at 15 and a half percent I have not found I have not found a higher crit chance but as soon as I do best believe I'll throw it on this bad boy and also it comes with the talent devastating giving you another 5% weapon damage. And that is the build for the gear items and the weapons. Uh, I run a booster hive and a chem launcher. Um, booster hive just to have a lot of fun. And eh, you'll, you guys will see. And also a flame nade, also crowd control and a lot of fun. Now let's finish this off with the stats. Everyone loves the numbers. So, starting off with the Eagle Bear without Berserk, 25,318 weapon damage, 27.5 crit hit chance, 49 crit hit damage, and 55 headshot damage. Now, with Berserk, like I was showing you guys, that goes from 25, 3 to 32.9. So yeah, that's a pretty big jump with your Berserk active. Going down to my offensive tab, I have 5% weapon handling, 20 and a half on the all weapon damage, which obviously I have zero weapon damage on my chest piece. So you could get this well above 30%. Also 40% on the AR damage. And yeah, 29% health damage because I am using an AR. And finally the defensive tab 395.99 on the armor 78.688 on the health and 49% down the board for my hazard protection and my resistance. But alright you guys skills don't really matter and the 
DZ perks that I'm using also don't really matter to you guys. So with that being said, that is my Berserk tank build using the Eagle Bearer, and I have just under 400k armor. Alright you guys, Kamikaze Von Doom, if you liked it, mash that like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.